Hi, welcome back to today's episode of Gear to Die For. Thanks for joining us on beautiful Lake Dillon. Finally summer here in Colorado, so let's uh, get into it. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Gear to Die For, where I'll be talking about backpacking chairs. My chair that I bring for backpacking is the Helinox ground chair. Now it's not the lightest chair you can get, but I'll tell you why I like the features. So a few years ago, I broke my back and decided I needed a chair for backpacking. It's one of those creature comforts that I've decided that I like to bring it with me and I will try to cut weight in other areas so that I can bring this chair. It's sturdy, it's lightweight, it's very comfortable, and being low to the ground is perfect for backpacking. Festivals, I've even taken it on a self-support whitewater kayaking trip. It fit in the back of my kayak, and now I bring it with me. Actually, I used it last night for a, a concert, and it works great. So. Let's put it together. So I have reviewed the Helinox swivel chair before and that's what I'm sitting on right now. That has its place for car camping, but this ground chair is in my arsenal for backpacking and for festivals where you need a low, low to the ground chair. It's made of high grade aluminum that's strong and lightweight and the seat cover is made of nylon and it's got these mesh panels um, which make it a little bit cooler. There are directions on the back if you need them. It's pretty straightforward though. These things almost put themselves together. I put the tops on first and then the bottom on last. You can do it whichever works for you. The last one you just have to give it a little bit of a push to put it on and there we have it. So let's try it out. Oh yeah. Now it has a square base which makes it more stable and also less likely to dig into the ground. So that's a plus. It's nice and comfortable. You can, when I'm backpacking, I'm low to the ground and that's what I, how I want to be because I'm doing all of my stuff, my cooking, down on the ground. So it's perfect for that. It's perfect for stadium seating or just like if you're here at the lake. It's great. So I have had this for quite a few years and you can get a lighter version, the uh, Chair Zero, but it's up higher and I think I actually prefer this ground chair. And yeah, it uh, will take someone weighing up to 265 pounds, weighs 23 ounces, which for me, I put it in the top of my 44 liter pack and I still have room for everything else for a four day backpacking trip. I could bring it on day hikes too if I wanted. Day hikes I don't tend to, you know, feel like I need a chair so much. But I know that the Helinox brand is quality and that they last. And I haven't had any problems with their chairs and they just, I, I prefer to buy something once than buy something over and over again. They are pretty expensive. This chair is runs at $129, but you could probably find it on sale and get a little bit cheaper, which I'm a bargain hunter and that's what I do. But, you know, I haven't had any problems with this one either. I got a hole by the fire, but that was my fault and any chair is gonna do that. So yeah, it has become a essential item for, for me to go backpacking. I just like that extra comfort um, and then I'll be a gram weenie with, with other items that I bring. So some people might say that these are difficult to get out of. Yes, they're low to the ground. It takes a little bit more effort, but hey, you know, if you're backpacking, then you're, you're probably able-bodied enough to get out of a chair like this. And I just, I just go get out like that. Pretty easy, hey? So that wraps up my review of the Helinox ground chair and hope to see you next week for another episode of Gear to Die For.